okay, class. You've been doing a great job with learning how to add, but sometimes when we start using bigger numbers, adding becomes a little bit tricky and we can have mistakes. So, today I'm going to teach you four different ways of adding to make it a little bit easier. Our four different ways is leading digit, compensation, break and bridge, and compatible numbers. Now, as I'm explaining each way to add, I'm going to use the same problem of 29 plus 52 to show you that no matter which way you use, you will still get the same answer. So, let's start with leading digit. For leading digit, we're going to break apart our problem, 27 plus 52, into its place values. So the 27 and 52, we're going to turn into 20 and 50. And I'm going to put parentheses around it, just so it's a little easier to read. So then we have our 7 and 2. 7 plus 2. So our final step is just to add. 20 plus 50 is 70. 7 plus 2 is 9. 70 plus 9 gives us our final answer of 79. Moving on to compensation. For compensation, we are making one number much easier to add. So, let's change the 27. Since 7 is a harder number to add, let's change it to 30. Since the 0 and the 30 will be much easier. So if we're changing 27 to 30, we're adding 3. To make the problem even, we're going to subtract 3. So then we still get the same answer, even if we're using different numbers. So 52 minus 3 is 49. Now we can add this much easier problem. 30 plus 49 is 79. Again, we got the same answer as our leading digit. Now on to break and bridge. For break and bridge, it's similar to the leading digit where we break it apart by its place value, but we're only going to do it to one number instead of both. So we'll leave our 27 and break apart the 52 into 50 and 2. To add up this problem, we'll add two numbers at a time to make it a little bit easier. So, 27 plus 50 is 77. We can't forget about the 2, so 77 plus 2 is 79. Now on to our last way of adding, compatible numbers. For compatible numbers, we're going to make the one place value, so this is our one's place value, the 7 and the 2, into the same number, so it's easier to add. Let's turn both numbers into the 2, since 2 is easier to add than 7. So we're going to change this to 22 plus 52. Now changing 27 to 22, we've subtracted 5. So we're going to add 5 to the end of our new problem to make it the same, even though we're using different numbers. So again, we're going to add two numbers at a time to make it easier. 22 plus 52 is 74. 74 plus 5 is 79. So for all four ways that we add it, we've got the same number. So let's try this again. I'm going to put a new problem up on the board, and we're going to try the four different ways to add and get the same answer for all four. So 
So our new problem is going to be 63 plus 38. And with the help of some of our class members, we're going to be able to find these answers. So Zach and Lauren are both going to come up and show us that we can still get the same answer for all four different ways. Lauren is choosing to find her answer with leading digit and compensation, where Zach is going to use break and bridge and compatible numbers to find his answer. As you keep practicing, the four different ways of addition, you can find what's easiest for you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll start with leading digit. The problem was 63 plus 38. So Lauren broke the 63 and 38 into its place values by 60 plus 30. 60 plus 30 is 90. So then she broke apart the 1's place value. 3 plus 8 equals 11. Adding those all together, 90 plus 11 gives you your answer of 101. Moving on to compensation. We have 63 plus 38. Lauren chose to leave the 63 and change the 38 into 40 to a much easier number. By changing it to 40, we had to add 2 to the 38. So we will have to subtract 2 later on in our problem. 63 plus 40 equals 103. Not forgetting to subtract the 2, we get 101. Zach chose to use break and bridge to find the answer to this problem. He left the 63 from the original problem and broke apart the 38 into its place values by 30 and 8. 63 plus 30 gives you 93. Plus 8 to 93 gives you your answer of 101. Moving on to our last way of addition is compatible numbers. So again, our problem is 63 plus 38. Now we do have a little bit of mistake in this problem, but that's okay. Mistakes happen as we're adding. So Zach chose to do, to keep the 63 and change 38 into 33. Now when we change 38 to 33, we were subtracting 5 instead of 8. So we'll just change this to a 5. Now, when we're adding, we have 63 plus 33, that would give us 96. Then we can't forget to add the 5, so 96 plus 5 give up, gives us our answer of 101. As you can see, again, all four ways of adding gave us the same answer of 101. So as you're practicing, you can find which one is easiest for you, and that can help you when numbers start to get tricky.